Well, I thought since I have it out, I'd play one last record on the Black 101 I have here that's going out of here tomorrow. And uh, this is Beer Garden Blues by Clarence, Will Clarence Williams and his orchestra. But uh, it has a pretty significant crack. Still plays, though. Nice hot jazz. It's a shame that crack will, over time, spread and eventually make this record unusable. But we will preserve it, or at least its sound, on the 101. This actually plays loud enough that it almost overwhelms the horn, which is impressive to do on a 101. It's a, it's a pretty good horn. So, But uh, you'll hear it. For the last time possibly playing, let's, on this record anyway... play beer uh the side b in a minute and this needle by the way was the one i dropped in the horn in the last video i fished it out of there because it was bouncing around and causing a bit of a buzz but got rid of that okay and breeze on the volcanic label through brunswick okay which owned the catalog by that time Come on, let's fish out. Not too many needles in there. I have to reload. Ah, come on. Really, a record that's loud like this should use a medium tone or a low tone, but I don't have those needles with me at the moment, so we'll just use the loud tone. Well, I will try to preserve this record as best I can. Once they're cracked like that, there's really there's no magic fix. There's nothing you can do that's going to make that good again.
that's what happens when it hits that point of the crack. Let's try a little beat. <laughs> Figure we do a special performance of that one since it is not long for this world. And that stows down there like so. Always let the tension off. And of course, stow the crank. And the crank stows on a 101. Right in here. Hard to do one hand. Oh, you know, I should wait until the record's off of there before I do that. Hold on a second. Okay, let's stow that somewhere where it's not likely to get broken worse than it is. And have the three little clips. Later on, they would put it back here, and that would continue over to the 102. But in these early ones, you have the clips here because there's no auto stop on, on these. Come on, get in there. They just stow like that. Because the auto stop would go here. The whole mechanism would be part of that. So they wouldn't be able to put it there anymore. So they just moved it to the back of the cover. And that, that's where it stayed for the rest of the production run of HMV's portable machines. 101s, 102s. And there you go. Now we pack it. 